Good morning, it's Michelle Ramon. It's your scholarly Michelle Ramon since I'm in school now. Um, I've been there, done that, been in school. And every time there's like a big barricade in my way and there's still some barricades in my way right now, but I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> I'm in a photography class and I need an SD card and my girlfriend said she has one. So I have to get over there sometime today and get it um, and then I have to study on um, two classes right now and then I got to go to a new class tonight uh, sociology so I mean I'm making it happen it's just that I haven't got my financial aid yet and I'm kind of a struggling student right now um, there you are miss spoiled she's she's spoiled but she needs um, a grooming I feel so sorry for my own dog because she needs a grooming. I'm sorry, boo boo. She's all raggedy. <laughs> Look at my hair too. I had to cut my own hair just because I haven't been able to get to the salon and um, I'm sure things will start going well as soon as I get some more work. Um, it's just a matter of applying and I don't have a laptop so I'm gonna pick up one on the 15th for school. And if I could just hang in there I just hate leaving my dog alone all day, but there's dogs that have, she has a yard, but I'm afraid the heat is too hot for her because she's not used to being an outdoor dog when it cools off a little, yeah, but so she has to stay locked up in a room, but my, uh, the owners of the house said they would take her out if I'm gone because I have like a lot of studying to do already. Um, I have to get my uh, pencils for school. I need special pencils and I have to look at the canvas I have to look at the um I have to look at this website called canvas to see what all I need for everything from you know the supplies I need you know so um and being learning disabled on top of that um but I have been in college before and I know a lot about good and bad relationships so that's why I speak about them because I have like a lot of knowledge on relationships um, I was gonna be a relationship coach and I was I went to school to be um, uh, what's it called um, where you hypnotize people um, where you you know like I went to school for hypnosis but we just didn't I didn't get to take the test so that's the only thing holding me back I went through the whole course and I know how to I know how to do it more or less um, as far as you're supposed to you, when you're hypnotizing someone, you're not really putting them to sleep. You're just telling them, reinforcing them that, you know, they can do better without the things that they're trying to give up. Like, basically, you just, you talk them out of doing what they basically are addicted to. So, you just have to let them know that, it, you know, it's, you don't have to be addicted to nothing because... Oh, I reached the limit already. Now it's going to cut off. Okay, I guess I got to do part two. Um, it said it reached the limit, so I don't know if 